All right. Hello, my friends. The Game Boy Geek here. And we are joined by the one, the only, Mr. Bruno Catala. <laughs> Hello. So, hey, first question, Bruno. Yeah. Um, everyone pronounces your name friendly. Yes. So, can you help us understand the correct pronunciation, maybe in English? It should be named Catala. 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 What does that mean? Ah, yes. Uh, Catala means Catalan, coming from Catalonia. So uh, it was a. Uh, there were a lot in south of France, and it was the name they gave to the immigrants coming from uh, Spain. So that means that uh, I have probably some ancestors coming from from Spain, okay. from Catalonia, ba Barcelona. So, Catala. Catala. Let's see. How do I? I just say that. Um, you cringe. No, no, I have. You can name uh, well, what you want. You can spell it whatever you want. I have no problem with that. <laughs> Bruno, Bruno is perfect. Whenever I, you know, introduce one of your games, yeah. I have to say Bruno Catala. Catala. Yeah. And I think Z says Catala. Huh? You without an H, Catala. Yes, but uh, the H uh, in front uh, in this this name you you don't hear it. So cat even Catala. 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 Right. Catala. It's perfect. <laughs> Well, uh, so at some point, uh, if anybody online has some questions for Bruno, you can go ahead and ask him. In the meantime, I'll be just asking you a bunch of questions. Mm -hmm. um, so you're here at Gen Con. We're both here at Gen Con 2016. Mm -hmm. the last few years, you had some big releases you were showing off. You were showing, yep. The last time I saw you was uh, two years ago, actually. We, I you had Abyss and Five Tribes. That yes. was two huge heavy hitters. Yeah. Uh, this year, let everybody know, what, what have you been showing off? Here at uh, at Gen Con, uh, this year I have no release uh, on the fair, mm -hmm. but uh, I have some previews. Okay. So that means that you have final copies for King Domino, mm -hmm. uh, which will be published by Blue Orange and which will come in Europe. Uh, and uh, for for Essen, that means mid mid October. Oh, you have it, King Domino. <laughs> yes. I tell tell me about this since you're talking about it. Yes. So, King Domino, uh, when you are playing King Domino, you have to become the king of the dominoes. <laughs> and you have to build a kingdom with dominoes. So, it's a fast, simple uh, family game. Uh, it takes maybe 15, 20 minutes to play. And, um, yes, you, you will build your kingdom uh, with the dominoes, like you can see in the pictures. And you try to connect the fields of the same color with specific buildings in the same fields. Because each building gives you chrome. And uh, at the end of the game, each area of the same color will give you as many points as the number of squares multiplied by the, by the number of, color, of uh, chromes. And you have, um, how to say, a, a small mechanism uh, to equilibrate uh, the, the chance. That means that when you get a tile which will give you a lot of points, you will ch choose last on the next round. So that means that you have to, to balance your, uh, your... Yeah, we got a chance to play this last night. It's, it's such a quick game, but it's a thinky game for how quick and easy yeah. it is. Yeah, and it's interesting when you're you have that choice of which tile you want. If you choose the powerful one, you're going to choose last next round. Yeah. And, and the, the least powerful one, you're choosing first. So the game is a bit of a thinkingness to it. So it's really cool. Yeah. So before we get into the other games that you're covering, we've got uh, a couple of said, Hola from Barcelona, Bruno. Hola. <laughs> I like this city a lot, Barcelona. Barcelona? Yeah. You've been there? Yeah, three times, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have a question. Are you satisfied with Conan? So uh, now tell them, I think you just did the expansion. Why don't you tell us a little bit how you're involved in Conan? Uh, Conan, I, I worked on Conan because uh, the team asked me if I would like to, um, to design an expansion for the game. So uh, yes, I, I, for sure. <laughs> just because uh, they are friends. And uh, it was uh, very nice for me to have a chance to belong to the project. 
But to be honest, it's difficult for me to answer that question. I am satisfied or not by, uh, by Conan. There, I went from one appointment to another appointment, and I know that the game has been released for a fair, but I have not seen it. No, I haven't seen it either. It was yeah. supposed to be released here? Yeah, I don't know if it's released, but I know that there are some really uh, finished copies uh, for playtesting, etc. Okay. And uh, but uh, but I've not seen it. Yeah, but I did the I did the Kickstarter, mm -hmm. uh, and even it was just prototype. And that's not usually a style of game that I enjoy. But I liked the one person versus everybody, yeah. and there were some really interesting mechanisms on. I think the, the clever thing in time, in, on my opinion, is the way of the overall plays. Yeah, I really like that, mm -hmm. and this is clever. Yeah, I remember. When I first saw it, I saw your name was attached on Board Game Geek as one of the designers, and I got all excited. No. And then I found out later that I'm you... not the designer. Right. I, I have nothing to do right. with the main design of the game. I just made an expansion, specific expansion for the game. Yep. So what else are you covering? Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So what else are you covering uh, here at the at the convention? You're doing some demos. You just talked about King Domino. Yes. What, what else are you here showing off? Uh, we have also a type of Kanagawa. Which will be published by Yellow. Uh, same, it will come in for uh, mid, mid October. Mm -hmm. And in that game, uh, it's connected to uh, to Japan, and for players are painters, and they have to make uh, the most beautiful uh, painting. Uh, it's it's hard to explain it. Like without any picture, without any I'll, components. I'll, but, I'll explain. A bit. Yeah. Luckily, I got a chance to play this last night. It, it, Box games that Yellow will put out that you look at it and you're going to be captivated by its beauty, but you game by looking at the art, maybe uh, it looks a lot of the art style is similar to say like Takedo ish a little bit, where you're putting together these paintings that will cascade across the whole tableau. But it's way more thinky than I thought it was going to be. It's a, it's for a light game, it's heavy. If you should, you know, if that makes any sense, like you go into it thinking this is a thirty to forty minute game. It looks nice. It looks like it's gonna be one of those pleasant games that you just make these beautiful paintings. Yeah. But there is a ton to think about. Uh, the whole scoring aspect uh, uh, uses a mechanism similar to you might be familiar with Rise of Augustus, mm -hmm. where you get to a certain bonus level. Do I take the bonus now, or do I try to go for the higher level of that bonus later? But if I don't get it, then I'm I'm out of luck. I do not get temptation. Anything. It's always about temptation. It's always about temptation. So yes. that game was it really surprised me how heavy it was, and it's not a heavy game per se. But no. I thought it was going to be a lot lighter than it was, and there was a time to think about. I'm really uh, happy with this game because since the beginning we have, we have worked directly with a publisher, hand in the hand. Uh, to have exactly the graphics we would like since the beginning. Yeah. So uh, and I really enjoy the artwork. And the only thing which makes me doubting for this game, I have to be honest, is that you won yesterday. <laughs> and I'm not sure I don't have to 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 make everything different. In fact, so. yeah, but it was the only game I won. I got destroyed <laughs> in every other game. Right? Yeah. I had I built a nice long season of summer. I thought yeah. you were gonna kill us, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Ah, yeah, no, that game. That game's great. So yeah, that's Kami. Can I say that one again? Kanagawa. You say it better than I do. And you don't even speak English. That's your first language. Kanagawa. No, Kanagawa. It was great. So and what, uh, what Kanagawa. Just... It's named Kanagawa because Kanagawa is the name of a very well-known old picture painted by the master Hokusai. What we are doing into the game, mm -hmm. we are learning the lessons of Master Okusai. Yeah. Any questions out there on the live Q and A? Just go ahead and type them in the comments, and we'll try to get those to Bruno. So, what else are you showing up? We've talked about Kanagawa and King Domino. So, the third one, which will also be released for us, mm -hmm. is Pocket Madness. Pocket Madness. Good. You talk about it while I cover my face. So, in Pocket <laughs> Madness, our players are cultists. And uh, they try not to become too much insane. <laughs> it goes on until someone gets 10 madness points, and the smallest amount of madness point wins, for sure. It's a card game. It's fast, simple. And you will have three possibilities. You can draw cards, that means making investigation, or you can open portals. Uh, 
to open a portal, you have to discard uh, three of a kind. Okay? And when you close the portal, uh, you trigger the special ability. And uh, these abilities could be really uh, important for the game. And you can also make publication. Publication means uh, discarding a series of each card, uh, each of a kind, okay, for, uh, for 6 to 12. And this way, you because the world has to know. And publication, make a publication, people learn so uh, scaring things that they get madness points. So you give them madness. So it's card game and management, fast, simple, with one over time, very nice artwork. You know, there are a lot of Cthulhu games now. That's and what I like in that one is that the artwork is really different than uh, on the market. Yeah, these look really nice. So it says it's coming out by FunForge. Does that yes. mean in the US it's coming through Passport Games? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I, I just came in from Passport Booth where I was demonstrating the game. And when is this coming out? October. Another S, S in the SN, time frame? Yes, it will. And it will be about uh, that $20, great. $20, maybe something like that. That artwork looks great. Yeah. Um, you had some, are you showing up? Oh, what about the Fancy Flight thing uh, that was just announced? Yeah, so, talk a little bit about that? So, the, the Hand of the King, uh, it's not released yet. It's for the end of the year. I don't know exactly when. But uh, there is a copy that people can try during the fair. It's on FFG booth. And it's, it's also a, sm a small card game, fast, simple, two to four players. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, a dream. I am so fan of the books, of the series, that having my small contribution to this team yes. is something incredible. You know, when, uh, when I a show, demonstrate the game to Chris Peterson the first time, he said to me, oh, yes, uh, game is good. Uh, what about, uh, what would you think if we keep the illustration you took for the prototype? Because I found that on the internet. And so uh, um, an artist which is living in Macedonia who made that. And I say, yes, for sure. Because if I, if I choose this illustration, it's just because I love them. I call George Martin immediately. And I say, I am only to one person to George Martin. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> so yes, it's very cool for me, yes. And that, that, how far out is that one? It has been just announced, and they say that it's for the fourth quarter of the year. But that's I have still, no so that's fantasy. Right? Yeah. Usually, they announce and then I have to make a living as a board game designer. You shared some interesting things yeah. uh, with me about last night, so oh, yeah, I can. I have no problem to speak about that. I'm a full-time game designer since 2004. My first game were published in 2002. And in 2004, I was fired. So I had to, to find a new job. And in my specialty, uh, mm -hmm. the only way was to, to leave uh, my, my house. And I'm a father, I'm divorced, and I was living close to my children. So, the only way to, to try to stay uh, close to them was to create my own activity. So I tried to become a designer. But from 2004 up to 2011, each month, I was not sure to pay my rent. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's stressful, <laughs> really. And um, in 2011, uh, Hurricane uh, offers me to become um, uh, not designer, but uh, developer for their games. So, two, but it was not possible for them to offer me a full time. I was working for them two times, two days a week. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And this helped me uh, to have more security. So, it was m more easy, but it was not really comfortable. And then, in 2004, uh, not 2004, 2014, uh, there was a release of Abyss and Five Tribes, and these two games were successful enough uh, to have uh, now sufficient amount of money 
for for so these two last years i'm comfortable and less stress it's okay yeah so yeah business and five tribes helped you get there so now yeah. you don't have to do development I'm you're just full-time designer exactly. but again you said 2002 was your first was just oh. many years it took to where you were at but it's not a problem of yours it's a problem of having again uh, sufficiently so now i am lucky because uh antoine to work with him on seven wonders dual and dual is such a crazy seller that uh, that it helps yeah tell you a lot thanks antoine right but it did i mean you've learned a lot over your yeah. 10 plus years of designing it's not like Frankly speaking, learn. yes, but frankly speaking, I don't think that the games I'm doing now are better than the one I was making 10 years ago. It's just a question of connection with people, because people decide which games they will promote or not. Promotion and the actual design. I think that, uh, you know, take any big success of the 10 last year. We don't speak more. About my case. sure. Take for example Dixit, which is take Seven Wonders, which is a fantastic game. They are crazy sellers, okay? Don't make the same sense. Mm. It connection with and so you you can't calculate that. Sure. So, but when you said that you were fired and then yeah. you started doing this full time, yeah. Uh, I seem to remember the type of job. Can you just tell me? A, a, I remember a story that you once told me about what you used to do. What, what did you used to do before board game design? Ah, uh, I was an engineer in uh, material sciences. I was working in R and D and research and development, uh, creating tungsten alloys. In fact, it's exactly the same work. It's exactly the same job but not on the same field but the way i'm working today is exactly the same i was working before in the, in the industry of material sciences you have an idea you develop it you test it and then you i had to to write uh, a process how to how to because people who are, have not your knowledge in science have to be able to uh, to fabricate uh, the material without any problem i have to write a rule uh, that uh, players uh, have to read without me and right. being able to 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 play without me. Yeah, I remember you telling me a story that it was so expensive in your yeah. in in your, ah, in your yes. area yes. that you would have to envision that's, that's the entire thing in your head before you had a prototype. And you said you told me one. This is many years ago. You told me yeah, yeah, that, it's, it's your... that you think of a game and you have the entire thing in your head before you even that's, start prototyping. That's, yes, right. Uh, the materials, the tungsten alloys, are really, really expensive. So when I had to, uh, when I wanted to make uh, new experiences, it's my my boss that uh, he had to, to give me the money for that. <laughs> and when I was young in that industry, he said, "Yes, but Bruno, why do you want to make that experience? Because uh, I want the, the answer, speed, etc. Yes, but you know the law." Of, of sciences so do you, do you don't are you not what you could have there and say have that kind of result so you know it so I won't pay for something you know just think and leave for things we don't know yeah okay and I I am working exactly the same way uh, I might have an ID I don't be create a prototype as I'm able to patients which are not uh, interesting enough. Yeah. So for small games, that means that uh, very often my first prototype works. For much much more bigger games, uh, I go the, the farther I, I can, yeah. and then I have also to play test. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's amazing. Yeah. So there's a question I heard. Someone's asking you if there was one thing you could change about Gen Con, what would it be? I don't know. <laughs> I know because For me, it would be the hotel situation, but it's really hard to get hotels uh, downtown. Yeah. For the, the, the normal. But for me, I don't know. 
because uh, kids, so, so I don't know how to. So what about it? What about in and around the convention? Is there anything that uh, you would change? Would you like it the way it is? I would like that it would be closer to my home. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's uh, frankly speaking, I really enjoy coming here because um, it's it's fun because American gamers on the same uh, way to play. Yeah, and I like the way that uh, uh, here, every uh, it's it's less less stress here. Yes, cool. Yeah. Uh, another question is: Is there any possibility of an abyss or five tribes big box coming out? With all box? <laughs> yes. Uh, tell me more. Uh, next year, I should have two big boxes published. With Days of Wonder, the game, I think, yeah. okay. and it's. Uh, I think the game is the same weight than Five Tribes. People who like, who love Five Tribes, will also love with this one. But let's see. And I will be uh, probably at uh, BGGCon this year with uh, very well, probably with uh, Final Artwork, etc., uh, to to show the game. The other one, Curiosity, and it will be published by Bombix. And uh, yes, it's also a, a, a big box. Same same way, like. Oh, same people that did uh, Abyss, right? Did yes, Bombix did yes, Abyss? The same. What kind of and, game is that? And uh, I have no, no schedule, but I probably end of next year. Uh, I hope. And it's, uh, you know, you have. Steampunk, it's, yes. But it's not really steampunk, it's poetic steampunk. Yeah, by the way, I got a chance to see that. Uh, What's it called? Yamatai. Yeah. And that was the first thing I said to you. I said, this, this looks about as heavy as Five Tribes, right? Yeah, yeah. So it looks very interesting. And I look forward to uh, how far you've brought it, maybe hopefully at BGGCon. Yeah. So someone has a question about. Uh, your design style, uh, uh, have you considered designing a solo game? But of course you had SOS Titanic game. At first, yes. At first. Well, oh yeah, at first. And then, uh, uh, how to say? I want to, to work on a pure solo game. Because I'm only design games I want to play myself and need to play alone. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, but can do able file that people can can play it alone. Why not? That's a, that's the case for five tribes. Yeah, you example. did that. Yes, I was just about to say that. I did that just because someone uh, sent me uh, a, a mail that he, he had began to to play alone. So and mail. The way he was playing was interesting, but it was not good enough. And so I, I worked on this proposal, and I improved it, and it became the, the solo version you know. So you have his name on the, on the solo version. But without him, I think that I will never have worked sure. on that taste. Yes. I can understand that some people, that some gamers like that, sure. but I taste, though, it's difficult for me to have real good ideas when that person read. Sure. And let's see, so something that your your story about how you become a full time designer was inspiring, and they're wondering, do do your children, do they like games, or do 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 they get into your designs, or do they want to be designers? Or I have two chimes. Twenty two. My son is twenty two, and my girl, is, my daughter, sorry, is twenty. My daughter uh, plays just occasionally, and she likes more uh, party games. I think my like uh, think again. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. exactly. Uh, my son, he likes games and he likes heavy games. And uh, now, for some months, I say, "Hey, Dad, would you like to to design a game with me?" So. 
Yes. Wow, that'd be cool. It's, it's on the road. <laughs> yeah. I that'd don't be know. Awesome. There is no hurry. No. Yes, we are beginning to work together on some some, some designs, and let's see uh, where. Well, I know that. Can he beat you and Mr. Jack? <laughs> he can, yes. Yes? Yes. No, not you. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> New York, maybe one in every four or five. Yeah, maybe. exactly. That's about it. Uh, speaking of Mr. Jack, actually, you just did the, re the new one, the revised edition, one of my most anticipated games of the year that I put in my video at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, I put it in my Gen Con video since it's sort of being not debuting here, but kind of about releasing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when you originally designed Mr. Jack, I can't bring it from Ludovic Maublanc. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, specifically the statistics now show that it was, you know, online that maybe 60, 40. It's exactly that. So the, the, the initial game, because now we have a website where we can play, uh, and uh, we have thousands and thousands of, of games which have been registered, registered, sorry. And so we know exactly that uh, the final statistic, inspector wins in 60% of, of, uh, of the games. Yeah. Okay. So. For us, uh, refreshing this game for the artwork will also be occasion to rework the game. We didn't want any new rule because Mr. Jack is Mr. Jack. Yes. The rules don't have to change. Mm -hmm. But we re reworked the, the board. And the board, some things have some slight changes. The sewer and trends are not at the same position. And this work has it that it's more easy for for the, for Mr. Jack to, to escape. And there's one new one. Right? Yes, and they are closer to They're close to the exits. Yes. And also we we swap the starting position of Stealthy oh, yeah. and Watson. It was not fully necessary, no. but uh, you cannot imagine how many times I had to answer the same question. Right. People thinking that there is a bug that still seek an escape turn two. It's just a trap that yeah. people should Didn't know about. Should know, yeah. but, but so. I love that. Yes, but uh, <laughs> when, you, when you answer the same question weeks after weeks after weeks after weeks, you say, hey, maybe we'll do something else. Yeah. Now, when you did the, when you guys changed the board mm -hmm. and you did your testing, was it statistically 50 50 now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, now we know that we are very close to that 50-50. Maybe it's 51, 49, but uh, it's, it's... That's good. Mm. I, in my experience, I found it almost tailored towards Jack, but I'm mostly playing it with people that aren't as experienced with the older version, yeah. and so now I can do Jack's tricks and yeah. get out. But... And for Mr. Jack, uh, one other thing I can say, I have to apologize uh, to people who are playing online because of uh, the site, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, big problems with the website, and it's no more possible to register new, uh, new gamers. Oh, yeah. with this website will be dead very, very soon. Mm -hmm. The guy who was uh, in charge of that uh, is no more on the business. Yeah. So, and we don't have the sources. But I can also give a, new, a news. What's that? That's, um, the publisher is working on uh, an electronic version that you will be able to have on your uh, tablets, phones, and computers. When does that so come out? It's supposed to come before end of the year. So I don't know more. I have begin to play test myself. Uh, at this time, the game works well. It's very nice. Uh, now I have to check if the uh, artificial intelligence is good enough because I don't like personally when there is an artificial intelligence and you beat it on the time. Sorry, it's sun. It's sun. <laughs> okay. So, but you built the artificial intelligence for the Mr. Jack Pocket app, didn't you, or no? I didn't build it, but I worked on it. I was, uh, I gave my contribution. Oh, yeah, I'm excited about the app. Do you know if you'll be able to play uh, online? Yes. 
in real you time would, or just asynchronously? Uh, both, I think. Yeah, that'll be that would be really good, actually. Thanks. So I've always wanted to be able to to play that on to, to play it uh, online. Yeah. And today it's asynchronous only. So. Oh yeah. So, yeah. And the sun was coming in. In the afternoon sun. So yeah, and the last time I was with Jack, uh, it's, is there anything, anything future going to be done with any of the, re the the other jacks or any new things? So the, for the other jacks, I think that the artwork will be refreshed also for the expansion and then for New York. But uh, it will take uh, time. Maybe have the expansion next year and New York the year later. Because we have to wait that there is no more copy on the older sure. version before launching a new one. Because for the shop, for the shops, it's, it's it's not acceptable to have a new version if the old one is not sold. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I found with that new version, if you're on a manhole yeah. and you're in the dark, you could escape from any floor if there were no barricades. That's it. And if you're one away from a manhole, you could escape from two. Yes. Where before it was much harder. Exactly. So it's so, for me, it's, it's it's much more fun. Yeah, but hey, that's the reason why you made that. So. <laughs> uh, let's see here, uh, Bruno. Are there any game des other game designers stuff that you've played uh, lately and liked? Uh, yes, I am a big fan of uh, Code Names. Okay. Yeah. Like Vladimir Shabato. Yeah, uh, frankly speaking, is one of my best games uh, the last month. Yeah. Uh, I am very excited to play the picture version. Oh yeah, yes, because for me it's better than re reading uh, words. Yes, this one <laughs> exactly. Have you played this yet? No, no, not yet. But uh, I think that this this one is really for me. And uh, I also played uh, a Kickstarter that my friends uh, have print. It was named Secret Hitler. Oh, Secret Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. And I, frankly speaking, I, I, I was afraid by, by the story, by, by the name, etc. And uh, I was not very uh, enthusiastic to play that. And when I played it, I think it's very clever. I did that game. I gave it a pretty well going yeah. review. It's, it is a very good uh, social yeah. deduction game. Yeah. Do you like social deduction games usually? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. What's your favorite one? Social deduction game? Mm. Give me choices. I don't know. One night after right. Werewolf, The Resistance, Avalon. Uh... Resistance, I think. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I played a lot Werewolf, but now I prefer things which are more sophisticated. So someone says, uh, other than board games, what else are you passionate about? Guitar. Guitar? Yes. You play the guitar? Yes, I'm a guitar player, and uh, I like that. I'm not a good guitar player, but, uh, <laughs> but I Electric like. or acoustic? Both. Whoa. Yes, I have five or six at home. Yeah? Yes. How often do you play? Each day. Every day? Mm -hmm. For how long? Depends. Five, five to two hours. What kind of music do you like? Uh, you know I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so police. Of the police, uh, Beatles, uh, yeah. so uh, Pink Floyd, uh, uh, U2, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Dire Straits for sure. You play their stuff on the guitar? Yeah. Nice. By yourself? Do you have somebody come over? Or do you have uh, friends that play with you? No, uh, mostly I'm playing alone. Okay. But uh, I, I have a friend who have asked me to make uh, something on his next disc. On the next <laughs> LP, yes. That's cool. You have to, uh, yeah, and I'm also uh, I like to to ride my bike in the, in the French Alps. So at this time, on a mountain or road? Yes. Well, on the road? Or on the road. road Ma bike? Mainly on the road. On the Alps. Yes. Uh, and like uh, Colibier? No, it's far from me. But uh, some weeks ago, we were climbing uh, called the Jouplan, which was the, the quite the last step in the Tour de France. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was pretty hard. You follow the Tour de France? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I'm a cyclist. <laughs> so, I had, uh, at this time, I have uh, ride uh, 2,200 kilometers. This year? Yeah. So you ride a lot. Yeah. How many times a week? Three times a week. How far do you go? 50 kilometers. So because for US, I have... it's about 30 miles, right? Uh, yeah. You said 50? 50. It's about 30 miles. 
Yeah, that's good. We've uh, we've some climbing and stuff. By yourself or in a group? No, our own. Because you know, riding alone is a lot harder because you don't have anybody to draft on, right? Yes, but uh, I do it when I have time. So uh, you know, and it depends on the weather. So uh, so the other, I'm working at home. So if it, if if the weather is good, up I go to for one hour or two hours of uh, riding, and then I will work later right. in the evening. I do what I want. Now, do you like the hills better, or the, or the are you a sprinter or a climber? No, uh, <laughs> you have seen my shape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better for downhill. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I didn't realize we both were, were cyclists. That's, yeah, that's good. Uh, and I also like to, to look for mushrooms. What kind of mushrooms? <laughs> All that can be eaten. <laughs> so. You ever climb the Alpe d'Huez? No, never. Okay. Is that close to you? You live uh, near. It's, uh, it's uh, Alpe d'Huez is two two hours and a half driving from my house. Okay. Mm. So I'm living very close to the border for for Switzerland. Well, look, Bruno, I want to thank you a ton for coming here and sharing some time with me. I was going to do this yesterday, but actually it turned out well because I was able to play some of the games you talked about and have some, some commentary on there. So uh, I want to thank you so much for, for joining. I look forward to all the stuff that you have coming out, even though for some reason I never know what you're coming out with until it comes out. i got to do a better job of annoying you <laughs> and asking you what's, what's your plan. No, no, there's no problem. It's always a pleasure to be here and to, to take some time with you and American gamers. So you're welcome. Well, thank you very much, Thanks. and we'll see you guys all later.